Budan, uh, he's been running in the pool, um, you know, yesterday for the first time he did some, you know, some form shooting and got a, actually got two shoes on, uh, which is, you know, just so he could shoot. Um, you know, I, I would not anticipate, you know, the earliest would be maybe next week, but I, I and again, I don't know that, um, he, you know, he was excited because in the pool, he had some pretty good mobility and, and then, but then when he went on the court, I, I think it, you know, it, it back to reality that he didn't have probably the strength in it. Um, the swelling is down. Uh, Davion um, is, was actually did full practice yesterday, the first time in, in, in a week. Um, uh, you know, he's obviously when you don't go for a week, it takes a little bit, but uh, get another practice in today and a shoot around. Uh, hopefully he'll have a little more, more mobility and can give us a little bit of a lift uh, on, on Wednesday. Um, Max has got to a point now, uh, you know, he had obviously a surgery uh, in April, uh, another surgery in um, October. Uh, he's back on the court now. Um, he, he practices part-time for us. Um, you know, just, he kind of rotates drills every day. Um, and then, uh, you know, Surrey is, uh, just started, uh, like progressing to running and, and, you know, he, I think the next step will be jumping. Um, obviously his is a little different, uh, you know, than Max's, uh, you know, procedure. So, uh, making some progress with that. Thank you, Coach. We'll open it up to questions. Um, if Coach, while we're waiting, if you want to give some opening thoughts just on Oklahoma State and what you've seen on them on film. Well, I think the, the crazy thing is after the games last night, I, I text the coaches and the players, uh, you know, if we can find a way to win, which is, you know, and every win is hard in this league. Uh, we could be tied for six. We could be tied for fifth place um, after what we've all been through. Uh, you know, the COVID, the injuries, all of that, the close losses. And probably the real sad part about it, if you found a way to win one of those close games, you'd be in the top part of the league. And, you know, two of them you'd be, you know, but we, we didn't do that. Uh, you know, all we can do now is worry about, you know, just keep getting better and, and, deal, you know, deal with what we have. Um, you know, I thought, you know, we lost our spirit after Kansas. There's no doubt. You saw it in the Baylor game. I, I really thought against Mississippi, uh, we had a little more pop on defense. Um, uh, we, you know, we just didn't make shots. It, it's, it's, you know, pretty simple. Um, probably, you know, hindsight too many threes, but I went back and we did get the ball in the paint. It's just that they were, uh, you know, long and they contested things at the paint. And a lot of times our, it was drives and kickouts to three. Uh, that's what they were kind of, we kind of played off of what they gave us. And, um, you know, if you just had one other guy step up and make a few plays, obviously Mark was, uh, you know, had a nice game, came back 20 and 16. That's, I mean, that's a mouthful. I mean, that's, you know, there's not many guys that done, have done, you know, do that this in our league around the country. And he's done it a couple of times now. Um, you know, Nigel kind of gives us our consistency. I was happy uh, with his playmaking. He had seven assists. Uh, I thought he, you know, he did a better job when they got into him of, of creating for some other people. So, uh, you know, now you got Oklahoma state They're uh, They're coming off a tough loss to Florida. They had a uh, 16, 18 point lead in the first half. Uh, I watched the game last night. Uh, you know, they're very, very athletic. They're very talented. They got good depth. Uh, they keep coming at you. Uh, they're very physical with their defense. They play a lot of defenses. I, I thought we'd see a lot of defense against Mississippi, but I don't know if they were afraid of Nigel or not with the zones, but, um, you know, we're, we're going to have to, you know, man up and uh, we're going to have to get, we got to get some points in the paint. Uh, and then obviously it would be nice. It's always nice if you can make some shots, uh, but our, our defense is going to be key. Uh, you know, again, I thought we took some, a little bit of a positive step against Mississippi. Uh, we just couldn't get key stops at the right time. And uh, now we're going to have to, you know, hopefully get back home and, 
get get keep the fire going inside uh you know and and, and you know step up and and give a great effort against Oklahoma State and find see if we can find a way to get a win thank you coach uh okay Michael you can fire off first I think Bruce is there a vocal leader on this team and if so in what ways has that person or persons kind of been what messages have they been sending I think we have several guys that have kind of done it at different times, but we I just kind of maybe like our team, we haven't been consistent with it. And, um, you know, I, I you know, it, we all have from the beginning, we've all asked Nigel to have a, a stronger voice and, um, you know, slowly but surely he does it. It's not a natural thing. Mike McGurl, we've talked about in the past. It's not natural for Mike. Um, you know, he just, he is, you know, he's just a good, quiet kid, uh, young man. And, and, uh, you know, Marquise ish, uh, Selton, those three have used their voice, uh, you know, um, but again, they got to come back and have consistent play. And we, you know, we talked all year about, you know, hold yourself accountable so you can hold other people accountable. And, and I think that, that, you know, if we could get some consistency, it would obviously help then that would help somebody maybe be a consistent voice. Um, I mean, we've all gone back and forth. We've had our, you know, it's an emotional season. Um, as if you watch the Chiefs, uh, sports is, can be very joyous and it can be very painful. And, uh, you know, you go through those ups and downs, uh, you know, and that's part of the season, um, you know, and, and so there's been there's been emotion. There's been emotion in practice in the locker room, you know, but now, you know, we got it. We all we can do is, you know, we just have ourselves and keep believing and keep working and uh, hope we can find a way to get some confidence and some things go our way and uh, see if we can make a little run here down down the stretch. You mentioned post play, getting better play consistency. How do you get the offense to to eliminate or minimize the droughts that you guys have had? Yeah, I don't know. You know, 10 days ago, uh, you know, we had 50 points at halftime against Kansas and scored in the 70s. Uh, you know, the Texas and, you know, one of the best defensive teams, uh, you know, we got in the 60s and 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 Texas Tech had a, a, against, again, a, one of the best defensive teams. So, you know, some obviously, it, you know, it, it we got to get some inside production. We got to get some layups, uh, some easy ones. Uh, the one thing Selton missing Selton, he's you know his his strength is getting to the hoop, driving, playmaking. Um, you know we, you know just from one of our bigs, we got to get a, a layup or two, or get to the free throw line. Uh, you know that that would help. I, I think also just getting some transition. Uh, you know that was our biggest thing. I think as a staff after watching it. Uh, you know, we got to get it out and push it. Uh, you know, we only had five turnovers. I don't know if that, you know, in 15 assists against uh, Mississippi. So that's pretty good ratio, but maybe we weren't aggressive enough early in the possessions. And that's why we didn't have the, you know, that's why you had less turnovers. So, um, you know, I think those would be that inside play and also getting, uh, maybe getting a little bit out of transition. Our defense, you know, we've been, Early, we were getting a lot of deflection steals. Um, you know, we haven't had that as of late to get the, you know, get a few easy ones uh, to kind of ease the pressure on your offense. And last one from me, Ish Masood's minutes have uh, been reduced dramatically. What's the explanation for that? Is it physical play or what is it? I think you watch the game. I mean, he's, he's not the physical, you know, guy, um, you know, in our league. Um, you got a lot of people that play small or they play athletic. Um, it, it makes them, you know, it, it's not one of his strengths to go out and guard somebody out on the court. Uh, but at the same time, we, you know, we got to find a way to use his strength and, you know, see if we can get him some shots. Um, you know, he, he, he seems to make that first one, but then he'll, the next one, he'll maybe force a little bit. Um, you know, so we got to do a better job of just finding ways to get him some easy shots. And, and obviously that would help us. So, you know, when you talk about offense, you know, anyone that can get some points for us would help. Thanks for your time. And Mark's also played well. I mean, that's, 
you know, part of it too. It just you end up playing small ball and playing Mark at the four. Obviously, he's pretty effective in that in that role. I appreciate it. Yep. Uh, Tim, go ahead. Hey, Bruce. What what do, what do you see now as kind of the the key in getting getting those Baker guys, getting Casey, getting Davion uh, going since they've they've struggled over those these last couple of games. You know, I, I, uh, I don't know, may, you know, we just maybe got to force feed them a little bit, um, you know, try to get the ball to them, see if they can get a little confidence, um, you know, but then they got to go finish it. And, uh, you know, obviously Davion's had an up and down season um, and Casey has, uh, you know, I think Carlton, he has the bounce and the athleticism. You see it, he can move better than those two guys. But he just, I, I've said before, he needs reps. He needs practice. He needs summer. He hasn't had a summer since he's been here. He needs a fall. He had an, you know, he didn't have a fall. Um, and, uh, and those things have come. But, you know, we, we showed him yesterday his, his, his defense on a, like a handful of possessions was like, man, this is what we, this is perfect. Um, but then, you know, you know, he had a chance, a little jumper, you know, I don't, that three, I wish he would have just shot a 15 footer. I'm okay with that. But, um, you know, we just, between the three, we got to just find a way to get something. And, uh, you know, maybe we just need to run a couple plays early and try to get them the ball and see if they can finish or get to the free throw line. Tim, oh, other questions for coach? <clears throat> Okay. Coach, if you'll just hold on one second, I have Brendan on here. He wants to just 